So here's the situation. I got um, this Western Digital My Book. Um, and when I plugged in the wrong power cord, it um, broke. So I had to figure out how to fix it. And the best way I could figure out was to swap out um, this US, it's called a SATA, I guess, adapt, USB adapter, um, because it has some sort of Western digital technology in it that needs to be changed. Um, and I guess I burnt it out when I put in the wrong power source. Um, sort of a poor build by Western Digital because other power sources fit in. And also the fact that it just went bad was annoying. And customer service was even worse in terms of helping me figure out this problem. So to do this, this means I had to take the drive apart, which Western Digital um, does not make super fun. A very German review. Thank you for showing me how to open this up. Um, my, my my book's slightly different, but the principle of how they lock it is still the same. Uh, you cut your credit card into four pieces. You want to make sure you do it in the back slot, not the front like this. They look alike. Um, and how do I know this? Well, I learned the hard way um, that it's the back one. So it's still not super easy. Let's see how long it takes me to figure this guy out. Okay, there's one. There's two. Oh, it's opening up nicely now. Now it's probably gonna be hard to do on this side. So let's go one, two, good. And this other corner I can tell is gonna give me a problem and we'll see what happens on this one. Oh, this one's good. I sort of hear a little click. Yep, got it, I think. And so now, boom, oh, look at that. Just pop right open. Woohoo. So we got that going. Um, and now you're like, okay, great. Uh, the drive is in there. It's surprisingly just a drive with a little piece of plastic around it. But it's tough enough. Um, and you're like, okay, well, how do I get rid of this power board and put on a new one? Um, this is the annoying part um, that you actually have to take it out of the, whatever, the holster, whatever you want to call it, the chassis. And this is super annoying because you need this weird torque um, wrench, I guess. Um, go in here. This is... Okay, so that screw is out. And now, also you want to remember which way this was. So, um, in terms of top bottom, but I'll remind you on the way in. See these tabs, they're on top. They're on top of this little circular thing. So now you're actually good to go. Um, make it simple, you can take it out. And this is what I was saying, these, these things actually lock it in pretty well, even without a screw. Since you're not gonna be throwing it around, I don't know exactly. I mean, I guess if you drop it really hard or something, it might fall out of this chassis, but um, I don't think people are swinging hard drives around these days. So, and then this, thank God, is super simple. Um, but that, again, without the screwdriver, you're screwed, pun intended. And then all you have to do to take out, to take out this board is this, super easy. Don't drop, don't lose that screw, right? Putting it in the Ziploc bag. And then this thing, it's called, you know, the SATA board. And this is actually, if you wanted to use it as a hard drive internally, you would just plug it in here. Um, and this is the adapter for that. You can see it's got the SATA here. And you've got, this is the power, and this is the USB. And so you can take, so I had the bad one already. You take the bad one, you put it away, and you put in the good one. Obviously, you don't want to put the bad one in, right? And this lines up. Um, you can see the screws on top here. And lines up with this hole here. And so, if my memory serves, 
which I think looks like it's actually working. Boom, clicks right in. And that's, so that's super easy. Um, I guess even though Western Digital customer support didn't know this part goes bad, um, they made it very easy to take out. So now you have presumably your new one is in there. Um, and you can test if it works. Um, I think you'll hear it. Let's see. And be careful here. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, that screw back in there. Because if you try to test it first and you plug, uh, you plug it in without this screw being in there, like it might fly off, which happened to me. So that's how I know. So um, you stick this in here. Let's see. Uh, I saw a little light go on there. You may not have seen it, but when I saw it after I lost my drive and I saw that little light go on, I was so happy. So I'm just going to unplug it. I'm going to be careful. Um, unplug it carefully because you don't want to rip the board off. Not that hard, but better safe than sorry. Okay, so now I got this. And if you remember, I think if I remember, the round part goes to where these clips are. Put it in that way. And now you gotta, and if you ripped off, if you couldn't, if you didn't got impatient, I don't blame you, and you didn't unscrew everything, you probably ripped up these little plastic guys here. Um, you just gotta make sure now that it's lined up with these four, one, two, three. <laughs> I don't know what this one's from. Four, one, two, three, four. Um, oh, and the middle one there too. I don't know what those are for, but these outside four, you want to line them up and make sure um, that it's in there securely, which I will show you how to do if you're not. Okay, so you put this in here. Um, a little tricky. Again, you want to get it within these four. Um, once I get the first one lined up, should be in business. Okay, so now I want you to see what I did. I sort of just reached in here and I almost got this one. Yeah, I got this one lined up. So we'll start with this one in there and then we'll go from there. So here's one, it's lined up. Put in there and use a regular screwdriver? No, use this weird torque screw screwdriver. And then I gotta flip it to forward and it sinks right in so we're looking good Okay, so when you go to orient it, you're like, hey, which way, you know, how do I put it back in? The easy trick is just look here where the power and the USB is, power and the USB, so you know it's gotta be like that. And so you just take it, and voila! It's back in its little case now. Oh, it's super powerful. Um, and you have one reconstructed in my book. Um, I can't tell you how happy I was when this thing turned on and hopefully you have similar results. So uh, that's it. So everything is back together. Um, hopefully you have watched this. If this has happened to you and there is hope that your hard drive will come back to life, you have to order uh, this piece, as I may have mentioned, uh, on eBay. It was $12.99, cheaper than a new drive. And more importantly, you get all your old data back. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna get some good karma and thank me, just hit the subscribe button. I mean, it's not like it costs anything. Um, but in any case, I just hope that this saves you if you ran into the same thing that I did.